guys, Token Vaping, um, currently employed with Pacific Vapes. Um, today's flavor review I'm actually really, really excited about. Um, sorry, I'm going to get like all like hyper about this. Um, it is by a company called Hollywood Vape Labs. You may have seen them. Once you've seen them, you know whether or not you've seen them. Um, wow, that's a little off. Let me just, there we go. Um, the reason why I'm a huge fan of this line already uh, before all this, um, well, okay, sorry, let me uh, take a step back. They were gracious enough to send me four flavors out of their line. Um, I'm going to do a separate short video for each flavor, um, so it'll be spread out a little bit. However, the reason why I'm such a fan of this company already is, uh, like I said, they're called Hollywood Vape Labs. Their website is hollywoodvapelabs.com. They are based in British Columbia, Canada. Um, they were founded in 2015. However, they are not new kids on the block. They have been mixing and creating flavors since about 2012. So they have a few years under their belt for doing this. Um, so this isn't something that they just woke up and was just like, oh, hey, let's just try this. They've been doing this for a few years, so they've been trying to perfect um, their juices and their flavors and their company and their logo and everything. And they struck, I think they struck uh a really good point with this this is the flavor menu that they sent me it's legends hollywood vape labs now what's really cool about this dun 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 i'm sorry i'm just really really excited check that out yes that is what you think they are those are comic book based superheroes um, and characters i am a huge comic book fan i'm a comic book nerd geek whatever you want the terminology is i've been to some comic cons i've collected comic books since i was a little kid this is awesome. Um, you can see now, obviously, they don't work for the company directly, so they do have to change them up a little bit to avoid specific copyrights. But the logos and the pictures that they use, they have copyrighted themselves. So even though it is a variation, they still have the rights to what they're using. So be warned, don't copy them. But they did an amazing job. Um, as I stated, uh, they are um, in British Columbia. Now, there's 20 flavors in this entire set. So there's 20 different characters, which is really, really, really cool. Um, and um, they do offer a box set of the, of the whole shebang. All 20 flavors, all of them. Um, it is a little high. It's $399.99. However, as a fan, as a collector, as a comic book aficionado, so to speak, trust me, it's worth it just to have in a collection. It's something unique. It's something different. I mean, not many comic book collectors out there can turn around and say, I have a set of comic book vaping juice. That's awesome to say, just to say. Um, you can purchase the juice off their website. Um, it is $20.99 for a 30 ml bottle. So it's still even really reasonably priced. If there's a specific character that you prefer or that you're a fan of or that you like, um, you can get that specific character. Now, Obviously, there's only 20, so it's not going to have the huge uh, plethora of characters that are out there. But they do have most of the more popular ones, which is really cool. They do offer five nicotine levels, um, a 0, a 3, a 6, a 12, and an 18, as stated on their website. Most of the juices will offer up to a 12. I do believe if you contact them, they can make the 18, um, but there is that, that back and forth. Now, I want to show you the bottle. This is the bottle for this um uh, this brand uh or this video i'm sorry this brand my apologies um there is a safety ring on these um child safety cap check that out that is really cool it is a red a red coated bottle so it holds in the flavor really well this one is called wannabe there is the picture and if you recognize that character and if you've seen the movie then you know it kicked ass um there is the flavor here name of the name of the line there is their company um, nicotine level is right here their ingredients is listed in english and i believe that's french um, underneath um, so they do offer it in english and uh, french as well um, and then it says product of canada size of the bottle here now this is where this is what's cool on their bottle they have the flavor profile here, and I'll explain that in a second. They have their uh, website page. They have their warning label, again, in English and in French. 
it says produced by and you're not be able to see it specifically right here but it also says um, the manufacturing date the expiration date and the batch number that's really cool as well there's a lot of companies that are starting to go into that they have put that on their label it's a foil label um, but not only do they have a born on date an expiration date they also have a batch number so I mean they can get pretty exact if for whatever reason God forbid you order a bottle and there's a problem with it um, any tampering with the bottle when you receive it, anything that gives you the impression that it might have been opened, it might have leak, it might be cracked, anything like that. For health and safety purposes, do not vape it. Contact Hollywood Vape Labs. Um, they have an email address. They also have a contact us on their website. They will respond to you and they will take care of that order. But at least this way they'll know what batch um, it came out of and, and roughly from the born on date when it was made so that they can figure out whether or not there was an issue at their facility or if it might have been something that was done in transit. So, and again, I just want to show this. That's a really cool label. It's just really slick looking. Um, this one is a marshmallow French berry. Now, I will be honest with you. I have no idea what a French berry is. Never heard of it. Never. I know I've never tried it. It actually goes by a different name. It's called a Persian berry. It is part of, it is off of a plant um, that's involved with a group of shrubs called uh, Rhamnus, which is also commonly known as a buckthorn. There's about 150 species of this shrubbery, um, and the main thing that uh, the that it's used for is for dyeing the color yellow. So just a quick thing on that. Um, but the main berry that's off of this is called the French berry. So it was a new experience. It was a new. Um, it was a new flavor uh, profile, something that I wasn't very, um, you know, accustomed to or familiar with. So it, it w definitely was a bit different. So the actual flavor profile is a marshmallow French berry. And yes, I'm going to show the bottle again. I just, I think that is slick. Very, very, very well done. Great job, guys. Um, it is a marshmallow French berry. So I'm going to show you the cloud production off of it. Um, as well now I was not I, I do apologize I do not have the exact mix ratio but between the dripping of it and the way that it hits I'm going to guess it's either going to be a 70 30 or an 80 20 somewhere right in that area no throw kick whatsoever so it's a really smooth vape which makes it that much more enjoyable um, but the, it doesn't specifically state a max VG or 100% VG, um, so I'm going to guess it to be somewhere. It's either going to be a 70/30 or an 80/20 or something in between that two. But I'm going to I'm going to lean it more towards um, I would say like about uh, 75, 25 roughly. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a safe medium. But I I, I feel it's going to be one or the other. Um, all of their ingredients are uh, locally sourced. Um, in Canada, they are, the ingredients themselves are FDA approved. Now, before that goes further, I have said that about a couple other companies before, and I want to make sure that I say this so that it does not get misconstrued. That is not saying that the juice itself or that vaping it is FDA approved. The ingredients that are used separately by themselves, those are FDA approved. Um, and kosher and pharmaceutical grade and all of that. So everything that goes into their juice is going to be top quality um, uh, top shelf uh, ingredients so you're going to be getting as high quality of vaping um, experience with this as possible just want to make sure that that gets cleared up as well as again everything that I state in my videos no matter how I put it no matter how I say it no matter how I try to convey it to you this is entirely just my opinion my reaction my taste preference to the to the flavors that I'm vaping in no way, shape, or form am I trying to tell you this is how you should take it, this is how you should feel, this is what you should uh, experience when you're vaping this. All I'm trying to do with this is, as I state, is I'm just trying to enhance or further enhance vaping experiences for vapors out there. This is a line that you may not have heard of, but if you are a comic fan or a fan of the comic book movies, you definitely need to get a bottle from this line period if nothing else just to have in a collection but you need to try this line anyway so with that said I am going to show you the the vaping on this like I said it is wannabe from uh, Hollywood Vape Labs it's a marshmallow French berry 
and on my new my new Rouleau, um, I got the RX one. Um, I apologize at the time I couldn't afford the DNA, but it still works really, really solidly. Um, as always, I am wicking on Texas Tough. Um, it is not a Pansy S cotton ball. It is a very solid wicking cotton. It is the only cotton that I use now. Um, check out USA underscore Vape Mama um, on Instagram for any questions on, on that as well. Uh, right here, as you can see, it will be 65 watts. Wannabe. Marshmallow French Berry from Hollywood Vape Labs. So as you can see, very solid clouds. It is very, very full flavored. Um, that is all you get out of it is flavor. There is no lacking of it. There is no pausing of it. There is no um, point in it where you feel like you're not getting any flavor. I mean, it is just from the second it hits your tongue to the to the end of the exhale, it is all flavor. And as you can tell, the co the clouds are are pretty solid. Um, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to guess it somewhere in the 70, 30, 80, 20 range. Um, I will find out for sure. So on my next video, I will, I will 100% um, uh, know for sure what the mix ratio is, and I will let you guys know. Uh, now, flavor-wise, like I said, it is very full. It is very, very full-bodied. It is very abundant. There is no shortage or lacking of flavor whatsoever. I will say if you are not a berry flavor fan, this may not be the one for you because it definitely has a berry taste. Now, it is definitely different. Like I said, I've never had a French berry before in physical form, so I'm not really sure what to compare it to. Um, however, if you've ever vaped a berry-flavored juice before, this definitely is a berry flavor. I mean, it is, it is um, full on your tongue. It is not overly sweet. Um, it is not too rich. It, it vapes very clean. Um, by that I mean that it's it's still a comfortable vape even though there's quite quite an oomph behind the flavor. I mean it definitely packs a punch with this, but it is not too much to where um, if you vape it too long in a day that you're going to get sick of it. Um, it definitely is a solid all day vape, um, but you have to be a fan of berry flavor, whether it's a raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, um, any type of berry. You just have to like that type of flavor because it has a very unique flavor to that. As far as the marshmallow. I can't really say yay or nay as far as to whether uh, the marshmallow is abundant. It's, I mean, it, there definitely is a little bit of a, um, a sweetness to it. Um, but even if it's just the berry aspect of it for the French berry, um, it's definitely a solid on point flavor. So, I mean, it is, it is worth a sample. I get, uh, absolutely. Um, unless you absolutely do not like berry flavors. At that point, I'm not going to tell you to try it if you don't like berries at all because the last thing I, I want is to get you sick or make you ill um, from vaping a flavor that you don't like. That is good. It, it's almost like a sweeter... Uh, a sweeter fruit punch almost I mean it has that type of a of a, of a flavor kick to it um, but like I said wannabe Hollywood vape labs first flavor of four um, definitely a good start very solid flavor amazing labels I, I, I can't say enough about the labels the labeling the, the concept the theme out of the park um, absolutely um, I will be doing three more videos on this um, like I said, uh, I will follow up with these. Um, I'll spread them out a little bit, but there will be three more videos to follow up. And Hollywood Vape Labs, thank you so very much. You have no idea um, how much of a of a little uh, of a little geeky um, wish from wish fulfillment this was for me. As soon as I seen what you guys were offering, this this is just completely awesome. Um, thank you so much for the privilege and the honor of doing the review. Uh, guys, definitely check them out. They're on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, definitely go and check out uh, those different pages. Give them a like and a follow. Um, check out their website, HollywoodVapeLabs.com. Hit them up for samples. Have your shop hit them up for samples. Um, 
thank you guys again at Hollywood Vape Labs, guys, Token Vaping. Um, hit me up here on YouTube, um, tokenvaping at gmail.com, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, like, follow, subscribe. Anything I can do to help further enhance your vaping experience, please, by all means, contact me. Let me know. I will do everything that I can. Bottom, bottom line, end of the day, I am just a, a, a true supporter of the vaping community, and anything I can do to help further that, I definitely will do, no questions asked. Until next time, guys, vape on, vape strong.